midnight each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. 20 minutes past 10. Keep up, doctor. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, doctor. I was at home. David as my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this day over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And Laurie just... Naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? David hunts. I can change my skin. Then skins. Dr. Decker dated his patients. I had a hot date. We went out for drinks. I took photos of Jessica. Dr. Decker did phone on Valentine's Day. And asked me for Nathan's number. There was a girl there. Am I wrong to keep the locket? I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I? He was preoccupied with finding photographs, patterns, rocking chair. I haven't been back to the beach since. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident. Where I find something. I set fire. Beautiful. In the sea. To Hannah's clothes in the garden. I dug the grave. I wish I'd said goodbye. Dr. Decker, curse me. It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. At midnight each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. 20 minutes past 10. Keep up, doctor. Thinks we're gonna smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, doctor. I was at home. David as my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this day over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And then Laurie just... Naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? David hunts. I can change my skin. Then skins. Dr. Decker dated his patients. I had a hot date. We went out for drinks. I took photos of Jessica. Dr. Decker did phone on Valentine's Day. And asked me for Nathan's number. There was a girl there. Am I wrong to keep the locket? I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I? He was preoccupied with finding photographs, patterns, rocking chair. I haven't been back to the beach since. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident. Where I find something. I set fire. Beautiful. In the sea. To Hannah's clothes in the garden. I dug the grave. I wish I'd said goodbye. Dr. Decker, curse me. It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm the and the and I'm like the explosive one, and we're playing Dr. Decker's Dead. Did you do it? Yep. I did it. All right, Jonas. Game well, over. Well, hey, hey, look, game over. We can pack, All right, I did it. Pack ish up right now. We're we'll finding out why he's crazy right effing now. All right, why does Nathan think he's crazy, though? Hmm. I don't know. I think they possibly curse other people. A bit like he cursed me. He cursed them. Sometimes you could see he was bursting to tell me about it, but he couldn't. He was ecstatic with power. I just want to know what Dr. Decker looked like, man. That's it. How did Dr. Decker curse you? Maybe Dr. Decker had powers, too. Oh, he was literally Xavier. Yeah. Oh, uh, the curse. Well, I remembered. I was hoping you'd forget. It's going to sound crazy. Dr. Decker said I would never be able to move forward until I came to terms with my grief. And so from this point on, I start to relive the same day over and over again until I made something of it. I believed it. I mean, come to terms with your grief then. What? Why did Dr. Decker believe Decker? I mean, why did you believe Decker? Wow. I didn't want to believe him. I remember I said, you can't just say things and they happen. He laughed and laughed. I think he was going mad. He said he'd give me a demonstration. And? Oh, he's like, you want to watch a glass bottle disappear? And? He held his hand, outstretched, and told me to look at the flame. There was no flame. And then there was. He was holding a flame in his hand that had come out of nowhere. <laughs> what? And he tried to hypnotize me to make me forget it. What? <laughs> what was that JPEG you were holding there, buddy? What was that? Dude, that was a giffy clip art. <laughs> you remember the flame even though he hypnotized you. How could I forget a man creating a flame out of nowhere? Or why did Doctor want you to forget? All right, uh, let's go with this. I didn't forget seeing did. the flame. He wanted me to forget it, to forget it all, but I didn't. For whatever reason, he couldn't undo what he'd done. I was scared. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. What? Probably his best bet. 
Yeah, yeah, be like, oh yeah, dude, what what flame? I don't even know what flames are, dude. Why were you afraid? I mean, I would be afraid if the freaking Johnny Flame, the Human Torch, was in my... Yeah, somebody was just like, hey, flame on their hand. I'd be like, oh yeah, dude, I'm, I gotta go. I was scared what Dr. Decker would do to me if he found out I still knew. So I had to play along, keep coming to the sessions, pretend I hadn't seen what he'd done. It was awful because I was suffering through the same days over and over again, but I couldn't talk to him about it, because he'd know. Mm. Oh, wow. Dr. Decker had this man in fear. Yep. All right, why did uh, Doc, why did he want you to forget anyway, you know? Well, Decker wanted to talk he'd to him. He'd become bored of me, so I got much of my insight from calls or messages he'd take during our sessions. I think because he hypnotized me, he didn't want to play with me anymore. So I got basic therapist. What? He went from being Professor X to just like a therapist instead? Yeah, I guess he uh, didn't like Nathan very much. What's a basic therapist? Oh, God. He told me lots of people get depression. To become more active. To see more people. And although he wouldn't always be there to listen, Jay would be. Didn't she say she didn't talk to him very much? Yeah, but she said she felt like she knows him a lot, so he'd be reliving the days and he's oh, talking to Jaya. Okay, okay. Yeah, I talked to her quite a lot. <coughs> I'm not sure how many days of that she'd remember. She seemed to care, which is more I can say for Decker. Huh. Oh, wait. Hold Did on. Did you we... kill Dr. D wow. Hold on. We got one of these, too. Nathan says he talked to Jai a lot. Sh should we ask her? We, we already we asked did. her. Yeah, we said, already did that. Yeah, she said that. So now we just need to straight up ask him. Did you kill Dr. Decker so you wouldn't have to suffer through repeat days? I, I, I don't think that asking any of these questions has gotten us any negative, uh, like, balance in, in the... In the uh, the pendulum that is right. swinging towards like making these people happy or not, but I don't think he did it. I don't think he did. But it. we're gonna ask it anyway. Yeah, I didn't kill Doctor Decker. I wanted to be as far away from him as possible. I don't know who did. Okay, good. That's he that's, doesn't. He doesn't know. That's what I wanted to really get down to. All right, let's see if Jaya has anything else to say real quick. About Nathan? Nope. Okay, we already asked that. Who do you want to go to next, oh, Jonas? Redhead what do you think? Love, dude. Elin? Redhead nope. Love? Nope. She's not redhead. I'm pretty sure that's red hair. That is brown. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> All right, let's get the old sexy britches up here. All right, because she's the liar. Oh, man. Now we have to interrogate this liar. Already, I'm getting anxiety already. All right, we can just ask her how she is. That's, that's a good way to start. Uh, she's going to lie. I'm okay. What'd I tell you? Thanks for asking. It's rent day, and I always feel a little blue on rent day. Feel a little blue on rent day as I uh, lean over. I can I can agree with that. Before you mention something beautiful, what What's, is rent day? Um, uh, sure, let's go keep going down the rent day path. Yeah, yeah, we'll stay. Rent day is the day I pay rent to my landlady. Mm, Very it? well. I guess I should have knew that. I mean, that's <laughs> you, what I figured it was, but... Do you know anything about the paper spike? Before you mention something beautiful, have you had any more blackouts? That's important. That's, yeah. That's staying on topic. I've had no blackouts, and I haven't been to the beach since our last session. But I think I will today. Do you want to come with me to the beach? We do. I'm really glad we didn't get a, a chance to answer that yes or no question with a yes or no well, the answer. answer. The question we ask is maybe... He, she asked us directly if we want to go, and we reply, maybe someone should come with you to the beach. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. That doesn't make any sense, but anyways, it's cool, man. Uh, answer a question with a question. That's how I do it, man. They, they don't Doctor, like it. I think you're getting a little anxious. If you ever wanted to visit the beach, you can just turn up. It's not mine. What? 
All right, so, uh, I mean, we're not going to the beach, obviously. I wanted to go to the beach. I mean, yeah, no, we were supposed to watch her dance, too. That didn't happen either, thank God, because she probably would have killed us. She uh, just, like, started wiggling her hips, and a knife just dropped to the floor, and she yeah. stabbed us in the neck. I, I think it's something more insidious than that, especially since, though, everybody has, like, freaking warlock powers in this universe. All right, before you mention something beautiful, she said that she saw something beautiful that even made her feel less beautiful by comparison. Let's oh, find yeah, out. Yeah. Let's find out a little about that. You've got a good memory, Doctor. Let's talk dreams. Sometimes I'll dream about a light deep in the ocean somewhere. I head towards it because it's warm and glowing beacon and when I'm at the bottom it's the most beautiful thing like like a welcoming sun like I'm home and then I wake up oh all right that's uh that's pretty normal. I'm just She's like I see light at the bottom of the water and I want to go swim down it that's sun. why she goes to the beach and gets naked and blacks out so obviously they're giving like a little whole mermaid kind of vibe here like you know she kind of has like the mermaid vibe and i keep saying that she's a siren because sirens are like the mythical creatures that, that lure would, you in that would lure the the sailors too close to the shore and they would crash their ships and then they'd collect whatever was in the ships for themselves kind of getting that feel from her why a beacon though? yeah yeah i was too bad it's not about bacon because i like bacon. <laughs> why a bacon sandwich it's so beautiful. It calls me. It's like I'm in a trance. What does the dream mean, Doctor? It means you're a sleut. It means under the sea. Yeah, under the sea. It's never better. Now where it's wetter. Double entendre. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Mariana's dream could mean many things. A, I can't see it. A metaphor for her current issue is searching for something or maybe she's making it up thank you it is hard for me to read on that background it is not easy <clears throat> not to mention i'm blind all right uh do you know anything about the paper side maybe the dream is a is symbolic maybe the dream is made up maybe the dream is made up or maybe the dream means you're searching for something yeah i, I like think that she's looking for something a bacon sandwich yeah yeah i guess i hate being in the same place for too long Maybe I'm always searching for paradise or something. Oh, Jonas, look at us. We're being psychiatrists, dude. Yeah, dude. She's like, I just want to get into the, the place. Oh, it took away all the other answers. It's actually working properly. <laughs> yeah, dude. We're psychiatrizing her. All right, let's ask her about the paper spike. Dr. Decker used to put my checks on that thing. I guess someone thought they weren't getting value for money. What? Okay, so he used to put, why is it spelled that way? And I already Sam know. Island, dude. <laughs> Jewelry with two L's. That was such a Jonas comment. Like, why would you even do it? But it is. Why would you why stop it? UK. I wish checks was spelled that way here. I kind of do, too. I actually don't have a lot of money. Sometimes a therapy check would bounce, but Dr. Decker would be okay with it. Oh, my checks are fine, though. Don't worry. Lies. So like Lies. she's just like a she's just like a transient. She she's a uh, she's a freaking couch surfer like that dude that. Oh you know, dude. my god, the couch surfers. Yeah, she's just a couch surfer. She's dude. just hot and gets to sleep on people's couches. Yeah, and like she just she just wanders around. Yeah, and, and instead looking of, for a bacon sandwich. Yeah. Oh, oops, my accidentally naked, but you're not gonna have sex with me. But I'm gonna sleep on your couch. Yep. Uh, you mind if I sleep naked on your couch? No. Oh, yeah. I get. I get it. really hot. Well, how do you? What do you do for work, lady? All right. Well, we'll find out. Oh, I'm right here. Broke. Men buy me drinks at bars, though. Sometimes I'll get away with not paying at restaurants. Isn't that how it is for everybody? I want to punch her dead in her oh, dude, I really, checkbook. Isn't that how it is for anyone? Doesn't yeah. everyone just get free stuff all the time? Oh, yeah, dude. I go to bars all the time get free stuff. So yeah. It's yeah, crazy. Exactly. 
yeah. crazy. All right, well, we'll find out uh, how often she goes to eat on the next one. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT! Uh, we out.